Hey guys, I think it's time we did uh, a bit of a channel update because we haven't done that for a very, very, very long time. So as you know, changes have been happening around this channel for uh, a couple of weeks now, I would say, maybe even a little bit longer than that. Uh, and that is that we have gone down to three videos a week uh, with our main Let's Play. Now, originally that was going to be a temporary thing until I got everything sorted um, and got caught back up after I had my serious computer issues a couple of months ago. Uh, but it's actually working out for me really, really well. Um, I've been able to invest that time into other things like having proper descriptions under my videos. I can have actually uh, transcripts of what happens in the videos. Uh, I've had more time to look at um, search optimization and stuff like that, which I have never done ever in the, in the whole time that I've been on YouTube. Uh, and that's been quite a thing. Wow, things have changed. Things have really, really changed over the years. Um, so that's been cool. Also, um, I'm able to edit the videos to a much higher standard. I can actually sit down once I've recorded a video. I now have the time to watch the entire video back. I can cut things, I can make edits, I can see things that I've missed and put them back in, which if you've been watching my Silent Hill, you'll see that I've been doing that. And that has been great. And that's something with my work schedule that I just have not been able to do. Um, doing seven videos a week, it just, it's, it's not possible. Even though we, we did go down to five, that's still a lot. Because I work 50, 52 and a half hours a week. You know, it doesn't leave a lot of time for doing this anymore. So we have our Saturdays still, which will be whatever. Basically, anything goes on a Saturday except for sports games because I don't give two shits about sports games. So I'm not going to be um, not going to be covering them at all because they don't interest me. Um, I've also had more time to play games outside of coming home and editing and doing things like that. So I've been playing things like Creatures of Ava, which I downloaded on Game Pass and I played all the way through that and I really enjoyed it. Now I did think um, I might record that game possibly, but here's another thing. I'm thinking as well, going forwards, especially into the new year, I might sort of change the niche of this channel. Um, I think we're going to have a tighter emphasis on horror games because I personally enjoy recording that sort of game more. Something like Creatures of Ava or Bolt Gun. I've been really enjoying Bolt Gun. Uh, I've been playing it on my Ally. Uh, I've been playing it on my Xbox. And I've been playing it on my PC, depending on where I am and what I'm doing. It's been fantastic. Um, but again, it's one of those games, it's so fast paced, so hectic. I'm not really sure I could do something like that justice. There are other people out there that cover it, but I think, yeah, this channel is going to be not set in stone, so to speak, but it is going to be more locked in on that horror kind of experience. Also, because we only do the three videos uh, a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, that's made it possible for me to actually get ahead. Crazy, right? Long gone are the days where I uploaded three videos of Skyrim per day. Long gone, man. Jeez. Um, <laughs> I remember those days well. Um, my internet bottleneck isn't too much of a problem now either because, as I said, uh, I can get ahead. You know, I've got enough videos at the moment recorded till well into, into next month. 
Uh, it does mean that planning is going to need to be... Uh, I'm going to have to plan things. I'm going to have to plan... If, if a big upcoming game that I want to do on the channel is incoming, we are going to have to have a look at the calendar. Inspect that a little bit closer. But yeah, Saturday videos are going to be anything. If anybody has suggestions of games to try, games to look at, I do have a list. I've got a, a, a Microsoft OneNote file now, just full of them. Um, and Sunday is going to be for channel updates, discussions, that sort of thing. But there's going to be no time frame for that. It's whenever I've got something to say or something happens, that will be, and this will be on a Sunday. I've been looking at the art of the channel as well. You know, the branding, if you will. Black and red has always been my theme. Uh, they've always been, that's always been my favorite sort of color scheme. So black and red will, will, will remain. Uh, I've been coming up with my own outro music because I want to get away from uh, copyrighted stuff as much as possible. Obviously, it's unavoidable in the games, but as much as possible, my own music. Uh, I have some tools and things to actually create that. Um, thumbnails as well. You'll notice, uh, definitely after Silent Hill and with the start of these channels and the start of the Saturday, uh, these updates, I should say, and the start of the Saturday videos, uh, the branding is going to change slightly. Are you going to see lots of more, more of my face? Which would not be my first choice. However, um... I've been creating avatars and things like that for a while. And the trouble is I'll create an avatar, which I like. It'd be like a pixel art thing. Um, and then I'll create another one or someone will send me something else that looks cool. Um, and they're all cool pieces of art. Don't get me wrong. But unfortunately, there's no core identity. And that's something that I really need to kind of focus on so I thought you know what to make everything easier because I've got this new camera and I can take photos and I can do green screening and all that stuff I just put my face on there it just it there yeah, done simple um, for a while I was uh, exploring the idea of going to Fiverr or someone like somewhere like that and coming up with a, a unique brand identity but my god that's a minefield. That is a crazy, crazy minefield. Um, there's a lot of people on there. It's very expensive. And to get exactly what you want. Yeah, yeah. And I don't have time to mess around with that sort of stuff uh, out of work. When I can just, you know, take a photo of my face and stuff that up there. Easy, simple, done. So I think that's pretty much where the channel's heading. Um, we're changing descriptions and things. I, I am thinking about doing some sort of social media thing as well. Um, I've blown the dust off my Instagram account and I'm posting clips and stuff on there all the time. And that is, I'm posting clips on that that are way ahead of, of what we've seen on the channel. My problem with social media is I don't like it. <laughs> it's simple as that. Uh, the idea of managing like a, a, a Twitter account, a Facebook account, um, Instagram, you got like Blue Sky now, TikTok. That's just exhausting. So I did think to myself, you know, I'm going to pick one of these things. And I'm going to try and stick to one of these things. Twitter, I don't like it at all. Um, I'm not ruling it out. I, maybe in the future, I'm not sure. Facebook, again, I just, I, I'm, I'm not a Facebook person anymore. Uh, but the one thing that I do sort of use quite a bit is Instagram. And Instagram's great for sharing videos and things like that. So that's where that's heading at the moment.
Also, I want to talk about um, some of this like Xbox controversy stuff that's going on. Their new marketing campaign, and uh, you know, we're getting people like Dreamcast guy talking about the death of the Xbox for like the the eight hundredth time this in the in the past decade. Um, I'm. It's no secret that I'm an Xbox guy. I always have been. I'm primarily, I'm a PC guy. First and foremost, PC. But since the death of the Dreamcast, uh, I converted over to Xbox. And I've always, always, always enjoyed the Xbox platform. I love it. With the exception of when they launched the Xbox One. That was so bad and so disastrous, I jumped ship to PS4. Now, I loved my PS4. Uh, I had some great memories on it and eventually upgraded to a PS4 Pro. And going back to that, I, I just, yeah, I, I have had a go on a PS4 um, a few months ago and I don't like the controller. You know, I'm so used to the Xbox controller again and stuff like that. And I've never liked the PlayStation 3 controller. I've never liked um, the PlayStation 2 controller, which was, you know, basically the same thing. I did have a PlayStation 1 and that was great, you know, 30 years ago. Um, so, yeah, always been an Xbox guy. I love the Xbox ecosystem. Now, when I met my fiance which was seven, eight years ago now, something like that. Uh, she was an Xbox girl. She had a PC, like a small low-powered PC as well, which we, we played some stuff on. Uh, but mainly to do multiplayer stuff because we lived, well, a, a good distance away from each other. So the only time we could really reliably interact with each other was gaming. Uh, she had an Xbox. So I remember I went and bought an Xbox One X. I think they had pretty much just come out at the time. And yeah, that was a thing. Because I remember buying it thinking, my God, I never thought I would buy one of these, you know, bloody things. Blah, 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 blah. I got it home. I started playing Halo on it. I started playing Gears of War on it. I started playing, um, I think it was Titanfall as well. And just the old Fable games, uh, Halo, you know, all of that good stuff. And I remember, like, even though I had my PlayStation 4, that uh, I think it was a pro at that point that I loved, I was like... I'm back, man. Why did I, you know, and I even said to her, like, I cannot believe I never bought an Xbox. And then I realized it was that point then that I just, yeah, I'm, I'm an Xbox guy. I, the PlayStation's cool, but the UI, Game Pass. And that was the great thing about having, uh, getting an Xbox One X so late into its life. It had Game Pass. So I could just catch up on all Sunset Overdrive. I could catch up on all of these games for free with my subscription. Uh, yeah, great, great stuff. Anyway, so, you know, start of this generation, I went Series X. I got Series X under this monitor here. I got Series X in the front room. Uh, and I had a Series S for a while just because I wanted to try one and see what it was like. And it was great. It was cool. It was a great little small system. But eventually, uh, I knew somebody that wanted one, and I didn't use mine anymore. So I passed it on. Uh, so at the moment, the current meta is that the Xbox is dying because they have this new incentive that is Xbox, play everywhere, and everything is an Xbox. I see no problem with this. I think this is fantastic. Um, Xbox hardware sales are down. And the idea that Microsoft is going to be putting their games on multiple platforms going forwards. Great. So you're telling me more people are going to get to play these games 
This is fantastic. Let the PlayStation guys have them. I don't care. Let um put them on Steam, Epic, and all that stuff. This is good. This is positive. That means more get people are going to be buying the games, more people are going to be enjoying the games. And you know what? Let's be honest. The Xbox console isn't going anywhere. Do you know why? Because they still sell. Because people still have their huge libraries of games on the Xbox consoles. And because Game Pass, you're never going to get Game Pass on the PlayStation. It's not going to happen. Sony's not going to allow that. Unless they get a massive cut from it. That's not going to happen. Uh, and Nintendo, by extension, is never going to allow that either. So Game Pass delivery platform is going to need a cornerstone. That cornerstone is the Xbox console. And that's another thing that I like about the Xbox ecosystem. There's so much choice. You want to buy the game and own it forever? Sure. You want to rent it on Game Pass as part of your subscription? Go ahead. You want to share games between accounts? Can do. You want to play the game on your PC? Great. You can play it on your PC. And I do this all the time. All the time. I'll play a game on my PC. Um, then when my missus goes to bed, uh, because our bedroom is directly behind this monitor, it's a very thin wall, um, I'll go to the front room and I'll carry on whatever I was playing, as long as it's in the X Xbox store, on my Xbox. And then you know what? You know what? Yeah, this is an Xbox too. This is my uh, Ally X, my portable gaming PC. You know what? I can take all of these saves, everything, and I can play that at work as well. And when I get home, everything's synced up. All of my games are here. You know why I didn't go PlayStation this generation? Apart from the fact that I'm already an Xbox guy. It's because if you buy a PlayStation, you're locked to that plastic box. That's it. They don't have cross-save compatibility with a few games that are on PC. Uh, you can't stream any of your games unless you're streaming it to your handheld. Uh, no, to your console. You can only, they've only just updated the, the portal. Um, so PlayStation has no value to me anymore. You know, the few games that are on PlayStation that I want to play Astrobot, well, I'm not buying a console for that. Um, Last of Us 2, didn't like it. Uh, I do like Horizon, but they're on PC now. They're on Steam. Um, and it's not, you, you, like I say, you don't have the benefit of buying it on the PC and then carrying it on on the console. There will be value there, but you can't do that. Um, Nintendo, I have always been lukewarm at best with nintendo and in fact since july since i got this i haven't touched my switch it's over there on my shelf i uh, will i ever use it again i don't know for me these handheld gaming pcs th this is where it's at it's expensive but it's so good and unfortunately, that's where the future of gaming is going. The idea of buying a one box that sits under a TV, that's not sustainable anymore. Microsoft sees the writing on the wall. They have for a long time. Um, Sony is changing as well at a much slower pace, but they are changing. Um, and they will. They will continue to adapt. And you're going to see more Sony games. Will you ever see any Sony games on the Xbox apart from that sports game um, and possibly Horizon? Don't know. Not sure. But you are going to see a lot more on PC. Nintendo is the kid sitting in the corner eating glue. They're, Nintendo's going to do what Nintendo's going to do. They seem to have success, flop, success, flop, success, flop. Uh, I'm, I don't think the Switch 2 is going to do as well as the Switch 1 has. It's going to do well, I think, but it isn't going to... You know, the Switch 2, when that launched, it 
There was nothing else like it. It reinvigorated the handheld space, which was great. It completely changed the form factor. Um, but unfortunately now, there's so many options like with Steam Decks, Allies, you've got the Legion Goes. You've got Microsoft talking about a new handheld, which, um, yes, please, depending on... Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, actually. Depending on how Microsoft actually implements the handheld. If it's a Microsoft, even Surface sort of PC like that, Yes, please. I'll take three. If it's a more locked down, dedicated console, there are pros and cons of that. It means that the games will be guaranteed to work and, and, and all of that, but then you're limited. But I'm still open to that because I can still play my Xbox games everywhere with that. See, that's the advantage of the ecosystem. The ecosystem that Microsoft has created is so good. It's so ahead of everything else. Um, and that is what Xbox is. It's not the little console anymore that's under your box. <laughs> Xbox everywhere, I guess. That, that's, that's what I like. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting um, seeing what happens with the new Nintendo Switch. Um, the, the games that I have bought on the Switch over this generation have disappointed me. I've come to the painful realization that I don't like Zelda anymore. It took me two years to complete Breath of the Wild. Um, you know, you got all these people saying it's the best game ever created, the, the most amazing masterpiece. I'm sorry I don't see it. I don't see it at all. I saw a big, boring, empty, open world with nothing to do, with irritating weapon mechanics, awful combat. Just, oh, I just, I don't get it. With the, the um, deco seeds that you had to collect, or Korak seeds that you had to collect, and to get no reward after I went through all those hours of doing it. Um, the shrines, the shrines were kind of cool, but there was so many of them, and it, it basically boiled down to four different sort of puzzles repeated. Anyway, so uh, that didn't really interest me. Um, I did suffer all the way through it to complete it. And then when Tears of the Kingdom came out, uh, I saw the reviews. Everyone was saying how brilliant this game is going to be. It's like such an evolution, blah, 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 blah. I played it and I'm like, motherfucker, I've already played this. You know, I got like 10 hours into it before I was like, nah, I'm, I'm done. Five years of evolution for this. And somehow they made the menu system worse. Oh, don't get me started on the menu system as well. Even with Breath of the Wild, all the armor sets, like whenever you went to a new area, you had to keep swapping armor. You fall in the water, you had to swap your armor out. You fall... oh. Yep, yeah, not, not a fan. Uh, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Finally, we got a remake. One of my favorite... Um, one of my favorite games from the uh, GameCube. But somehow it was worse. Um, the remake was worse because it ran at half the frame rate. And that was so noticeable. And the graphic style. It, it, they went for a hyper-realistic sort of paper cardboard sort of look. I say hyper-realistic, a much more realistic sort of look. And it... It just, it wasn't as appealing. It was a shame. Um, Super Mario uh, RPG, I finally um, played that via the remake. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was just so basic and boring. Um, again, maybe it would have been better if I played that way back in the day. Um, but yeah, I, I just, it wasn't bad. It was all right. But again, it was just underwhelming luigi's mansion 2 <sighs> that was extremely disappointing you know how it's divvied up into missions uh, and short little segments and so much gameplay interruptions all the time 
Um, so I don't care about Metroid either. I don't care about Smash Brothers. I'm not interested whatsoever in Smash Brothers. Mario Kart is another one. Like I'll play two or three rounds of Mario Kart and I've done it. I've finished. I've seen it all. I don't I don't need to see any more. So Nintendo, um, yeah, I've you know, I, I've always suspected it throughout the years because I've never really been super into their games. I love Mario, don't get me wrong. Um and I do. Uh, the new Zelda as well, the the oh, they did the remake. Um Link's Awakening. Didn't like it. It just stuttered way too much to enjoy the art style. Not for me. I know it's a remake of an old game, but I tried. I got got most of the way through that game before I just I just got bored. And then you've got the new one where you play as Zelda for once and No, not my sort of thing. So yeah, I'm definitely not a Nintendo person. Um, I definitely am more of an Xbox and a Sony guy. I would take a PlayStation almost, almost. Oh, would I take a PlayStation over a Switch or a Nintendo platform? I don't know, actually. Maybe. Probably toss a coin. And the problem, uh, one of the reasons why I like this so much um, was I don't have to buy games twice anymore. Whereas when a new release would arrive and I've got the Switch, yeah, I spend a lot of time at work. I'm like, do I want to do I want to buy it on my PC or my Xbox where I can enjoy it in its full fidelity, full frame rate and all that stuff? Or do I want to get the compromised version on the Switch? Because I sure as fuck aren't, I'm not going to buy it twice. Um, so that was always the toss up. And you know what? I never picked the Switch. Never pick the Switch unless the game was really cheap. But with this handheld, you don't have to choose. You buy it on your PC or you get it on your Xbox. Guess what? You got it on this as well. So, yeah, that's my rant about modern gaming, I thought, I suppose. Should have probably structured that a lot better, but wow. Maybe scripts are a good thing. Anyway, guys, that's, that's my update. That's a half an hour update. Jesus, I was expecting 10 minutes. But hey, this is how these things always go, isn't it? So, anyway, guys, that's all I have to say right now. Um, I will probably see you guys again in a week, in a two weeks, in a month. I don't know. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're all good, and I will catch you guys soon.